Why? So a fight at the castle of the Earl of Gloucester today broke out and causes one son to be injured and the other to go missing. It played out a little something like this, where Edmund said, Fled this way, sir, when by no means he could. Gloucester saying, By no means once. And what exactly did occur? Edmund says, Persuade me to the murder of your lordship, but that I told him in the revenging gods the child was bound to the father. Seeing how lowly opposed I stood to his unnatural purpose, with his prepared sword he charges home. Suspicions now run high as to Edgar's whereabouts in the kingdom, as everyone is searching for him, because the Earl of Gloucester is quite upset and seeks to bring this murderous coward to the stake. Edward has now reached Edmund, has now reached new levels of respect as the Earl of Gloucester has just been defended by his bastard son. Although he has only been recognized as a short, Edmund has acted quite noble. Or has he? Because he has defended the Earl of Gloucester from Edgar, supposedly, we look at his speech and we find that some things are not where they're supposed to be. He refers to gods, though in this society we only believe in one god. So who are these other gods? This is a form of heresy, and it almost symbolizes a detachment of our god, as we question who are these other gods that he is talking about anyways. And he says he is loathly opposed to the unnatural purpose of Edgar, which is why he defended his father, whom the child is bound to by birth. But this isn't quite his nature to be conniving. And it is strange that Edmund, who has just recently met his father, would act so familiarly. Though these words have, indeed, worked against the Earl of Gloucester. And the Earl of Gloucester has commemorated his son. We see from this that the act of violence is also further emphasized by using the imagery with his prepared sword he charges home as if he has just stabbed someone which does result in Edmund who had a bleeding injury found later at the scene so while the Earl of Gloucester sends people to look for Edgar we can only hope that Unlike Lear, the Earl of Gloucester has made a good decision. He seems so sure of himself, but only the future will tell. Over and out.